So how did you end up where you ended up? And um, Michael ended up here. It's a long story. Is his foster father always uh, so... Tough. Michael. Liz! Kyle! Hey, Max. Hey, Kyle. What's going on? Nothing. Why are you whispering? We're just, uh, waiting for Michael. We're gonna go, uh... Well, why are you whispering? We're going bowling. Liz, what were you doing down there? Oh, I dropped my ring. Why are you whispering? I'm gonna give you my number. Mm -hmm. um, could you have Michael call me? Bowling? Yes. What? 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 Are... Max. What are you doing? people break up. It's, it's not easy. You know, it's not as easy as they thought it was, you know? Yeah. You know, these people, they might say or do things that they don't mean, you know, uncharacteristic things. Maybe they're just confused, you know, looking for answers and reasons. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. That's why I want you to know that you can ask me anything, Liz. I don't have any secrets from you. Is that what you think, Kyle? I have secrets? Do you think it's the secrets that broke us up? Well, maybe, Liz. So when you were in my room alone, you had a chance to discover what those secrets were. Isn't that right? What? What are you so scared of? What? What secrets are you so afraid of me knowing? The truth about Max Evans? About why you've been so weird ever since that day at the crash down? Is that what your secrets are? Kyle, this is serious. What you have, I really need back. We all want something back, Liz. It's too bad life isn't always fair. Kyle. Hey. Oh, hey, look, it's fine. No, I'm just eating. Yeah, right. Liz sent you to find out whether or not I've told anybody anything. Right? No, it's that there was no one else to eat with. I told anybody what? You know what hurts the most is that she sent the B team. I mean, you, Night Maria. I'll tell you what, Alex. I'm going to send you back to headquarters with a little message. You can tell Liz that I'm tired of being lied to. She's not the girl I thought she was. And she's turned into some kind of stranger. Oh, you're good. That whole simpatico tactic. Sorry, but this fish won't swallow that bait. You really think I'm going to believe that Liz didn't let you in on her little secret? I'm not that stupid. Hi. I figured it out. You figured what out? It's a guilt, isn't it? What are you talking about? The pie, the study notes. It's a guilt. You feel responsible for my ankle. No, Kyle, I don't I don't feel responsible for your ankle. I just found out that I'm going to miss the rest of the season. Kyle. I'm sorry, Kyle. I... I... Ooh. I admit it, okay? You know, I feel a little bit responsible. I was sitting there and I was... I was watching you at that basketball game and you were getting completely trampled up. Look, Kyle, I know what it feels like to have somebody, like, break up with you and I just... I just wanted to say that I'm... I'm really sorry. You know, about how all of it ended and, and everything. And I am incredibly sorry about you missing the rest of the season. <laughs> I, I'm only going to be out two weeks. I just said that to prove a point. Anyway, about what happened with us. 
I just want to say you you were pretty straight with me. And you you told me it was over and and, and I I didn't listen. I didn't let it go. Is, um excuse me? Are you apologizing to me? I guess. Wow. I you know, I, I wasn't aware that this is part of your repertoire. I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> so then what changed? I don't know. I I, I was like I was just laying there for like two days and it just it gave me some time to think. And, and then there was this, this whole thing on Sally Jesse. You know, X is on a rampage and it, it just it gave me some perspective, so. But anyway, I just, I think it'd be great if, you know, if, if we could, you know, maybe we could be friends. Well, um, sure, we could, you know, we could work towards that. So. Anyway, about, uh, about lunch. Oh, yeah. I was hoping for something high in both fat and cholesterol uh, and lacking any inherent nutrition uh, value. I think that you are just a mock. Let me show you. Nice little menu with our fatty section. So great here. Here's your root beer, son. Hanson, I'm 16. I'm sorry. Here's your root beer, sir. Sure you want to wait? Yeah, he, he knows we've got to get a new tent. He told me to meet him here like 15 minutes ago. Well, it's been crazy around here, you know. Exciting. <laughs> he is a walking bundle of stress. And that's my dad. Hanson! Coffee. Son of a bitch hiker. He spilled his guts to the Roswell Gazette. USA Today picked it up off the wire. Now Rocky's negotiating with Dateline. Hey, Kyle. I guess that means you won't be returning Agent Stevens' call first thing? Get Miller on the phone. Tell him to rush the search. I want every inch of that woods combed before Agent Stevens sends his Phoebe goons out there. Shouldn't you be in school or something? I have third period free, remember? I have exactly 36 minutes to buy this tent unless something more important has come up. Listen, Kyle, about this weekend. You mean Father's Weekend, Dad? The only two days in a row we spend together all year? Yeah. You know, I wouldn't do this if it wasn't an emergency. It's an emergency. Well, come on, you can tell me. I'm family, right? Is it the big invasion? Mayor Higgins on the line, sir. I'll be right there. Look, Kyle, I don't know what this is yet. But I can't have anybody else find out first. You can't or you won't. I'll tell you what. You go on ahead without me. I'll call Coach Clay. I'll make sure he takes care of you out there. Thanks for your effort. See you on Monday. Yes, this is so incredible. Leave your for the blind date. Heavens. I know your pain, man. I'm just fine, Kyle. I was in denial in the beginning, too. I mean, one minute she's telling me I'm the only one, next she's making goo goo eyes at you. I can't deny it hurt. All breakups do, huh? We didn't break up, Kyle. Max, 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 don't, don't lie to yourself like this. We didn't break up because we were never together. Oh, she really did a number on you, didn't she? But I've come to realize that's her pattern, her M.O. She's a man-eater. And I pity the fool that radio station fixes her up with because she's going to fall in love and then the hunger begins all over again. See ya. We're back live on Carol's Eve from the strangest blind date I've ever been on as I'm in the club with Liz Parker, her dream man, Doug Jello, and not one but two of her ex-boyfriends, Lyle and Kyle. And Max. I can't control either one of them. You guys have really got to help me, please. I think you're better as a blonde. Um, you know, I think I, I just better get him home. Boy, hey, 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 hold on there, dream girl. You're not going to get off so easy. I mean, look at these guys. You got them hanging on by a string, and I think you owe it to them and the KROZ listeners to choose your Valentine here and now. Will it be Doug, the dream man we chose for you? The ex-boyfriend, Lyle? Kyle. Or Max, who kidnapped you and vandalized your home? What do you have to say for yourselves, men? Thought you just wanted a normal date. <laughs> okay, go for it, Kyle. Hey, I just happen to be nominated. And I think I'm up to you. All right. Well, convince her, Max. What the hell just happened here? I was kind of hoping you could tell me. What are you doing? He's an FBI agent. He's not what you think he is. I should have known it. Where the hell's my father? 
It's safe. That's so all I can tell you right now. Well, that's not good enough. Uh, it'll have to be. Turn around. What? No! I said turn around! Look, if anything happens to my father because of you, I swear to God I will kill you myself. I can't explain anything right now. This wasn't supposed to happen. Your father's okay. Just stay put. He doesn't want you involved. Don't let him out of there and we'll all be okay. Two hours late. Yeah, I know. I know. You came back at kind of a tough time, Kyle. You remember I told you about a, a man who was protecting Tess? Yeah, Noriega. Nisado. Mm, yeah. He, uh, he was killed last night by another alien. My strength fails. My vitality exhausted. I cannot find the bull. I only hear the locusts churring through the night. What? Nothing. You okay? Yeah, I just, uh, I'm just not looking forward to dealing with all the little green men again. <laughs> well, so maybe you should, uh, maybe you should cut them a little slack, Kyle. I mean, after all, Max Evans did save your life. Uh, damn human of them. Of course, here's the reason I got shot in the first place, but what the hell, no conditions are permanent, no conditions are reliable. Nothing is self. Oh, Dad, Dad. Dad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my. Take it easy. Take it. Whoa. Whoa. It's like... Come on, take it easy. Break. Don't... Just bring it in close. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying. But I need your help. Like... All right, a little close. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, go. oh, oh. oh man. <laughs> Whoa. The Bagley bang lure does it every time. There you go. Get a good grip. Whoa. We'll be eating like kings tonight. That's gorgeous. That's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Circle, Dad. Circle away. You know? No, I, I can't leave it like this. Excuse me? Max! You know, I walked out on him without explaining what happened between you and me. Huh? I didn't even say goodbye. Look, you've got a job to do. Max has got a job to do. When everybody's done with a job, you can make nice. He'll never know. He's Max. He'll always know. Right? With? They all are. All right, now, Liz said something about generators and electric fields. So how does electricity work? Why are you looking at me? We were both in the same remedial science class for three years. Basically, we have to um, blow its fuse, That right? means we mess with the current. Do you have jumper cables? Yeah. Buddha, forgive me, but I'm going to kick your ass! Uh, uh. It's not completely horrible. It's, it's almost tasty. Oh, well, here, have some more. No, no. 
I can't. This is this is so wrong. I, I'm not ready for this. Not ready for what? The change. I'm not ready to be a happy human, happy, happy alien, freakazoid. Now we prefer the term hybrid. Serious. Look, look. I like. I never bargained for this. One minute I'm, I'm a normal guy with my whole life ahead, and the next thing I know Max Evans transmogrifies me into something not of this earth. Oh, uh, look, trans what? Look, I just, I never asked for this. Well, I, I suppose you could have let you die. Is that what you want? If I had died, I would have transcended the mortal plane and been reincarnated into the next stage of my life. Uh, uh, reincarnated is what exactly? Like, just another person, an animal man. An animal? Like, you could have ended up like a gopher or something. Look, we're getting at the point. I do need some help. What do you want from me? I don't know what's going to happen to you. You know, maybe nothing will happen. Or, or maybe you could develop superpowers and start flying all over Roswell in the big cape. I don't know. Can I have another? No. Is this the sixth or seventh hole we dug today? Oh. Hey, hey. I was kind of wondering what the hell you people were doing sophomore year. Yeah, well, a lot of secret meetings, a lot of lying to authorities, sometimes narrowly escaping gunfire. Although, generally, that was pretty rare. So what do we lowly human folk get out of all this? Uh, I'm not sure. See, I guess what I have a problem with is that suddenly I'm a member of this club I never wanted to join. Yeah. And as it turns out, this club bears a striking resemblance to a chain gang. Look at this. What the hell, man? It's some sort of cave. Jackpot, baby! Woo! Yeah! How's women, ladies and gentlemen? Uh-huh. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> okay, well, time to put the shovel away and uh, <laughs> go find the others and tell Max. Coming? Sure. You first. Show me how this 
All right, you put your bet here, and the point is to get 21. Okay, king's worth 10, so you get another card. Okay, now you get 16, so another card. Okay, now you've got 25, and he takes your money away. Gee, what a great game. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, you got to play more than one hand. Kyle, this is Matt. It's not exactly what I'm looking for on vacation. Well, this is the gambling capital of the world. What are you looking for? Oh, I guess I'll know it when I see it. Later. All right. She's right, you know. It's math. More precisely, AP statistics, which dictates that an all-or-nothing strategy has the best chance of beating the house. That makes no sense. Hit me. Hit me. You took that one in the shorts. No, oh, there's no way I've been mind warped. I remember it. Kyle, that's the whole point of being mind warped. You don't know that it's happening to you. So I'm supposed to look around the room and what? I don't know. See if you have an unusual response to anything. Please. Sorry, nothing. Kyle, you could be really close. Just keep looking, keep trying. You did this to me. You sent me to Las Cruces. Hey, Alex, Alex, let me fix your mind. You're not thinking straight. You mind warped me for two months while I decoded that silly book for you, and now there's, there's nothing left for you to mind warp. You destroyed my mind. How could you do this to me? Kyle, get out. What's going on? Kyle, go! I have nothing. Everybody's gonna be dead! Alex, calm down! Hey, he's right! Calm down, okay? Calm down! No, you can't buy one! Calm down! You can't buy one! No! 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 Stuff is all loaded. Thanks, Kyle. You want me to come along? No. Go in the house. I'll, I'll take care of everything from here. I carry his body. She made me think it was luggage. She killed him. Tess killed Alex. Where were you? I was out. Just out? Have you been drinking? No. Well, a couple of beers. It's terrific, Dad. It's part of your new business plan? Actually, it is. That's enough. I want you to keep an open mind about this. The, uh... Now, I know it, it's not exactly what you maybe had in mind. Okay. But I'm telling you, this is something that I really believe in. Our first performance is tomorrow night. It'd be great if you were there. The country stylings of Jim Valenti and the Kit Shickers. <laughs> How much does this pay? Uh, not very much at first. But see, we get a percent of the door, but it's going to take us a little while to build up an audience. Right, right, build up an audience. Thank you. This is your big business plan? This is it? I've been working my ass off every day at a job I hate? And this is your big idea? Dad, we're behind on the mortgage, but I'm sure the mortgage company will calm down once they realize that all you gotta do is build up an audience. And you even looked at those bills. Kyle, I'm sorry. Dad, don't apologize. That's not even what I want. I know that when you lost your job as sheriff, that it really screwed with your head and... I have a lot of sympathy for that, I do, but I'm not, I'm not the parent here. And I can't keep our heads above water much longer. So, all I'm saying is, you know what I'm saying. Good night, Dad. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jim Valenti, and we are the Kid Shakers. Are you 21? Does it matter in here? My mic? 
All the battles in here is pain right on that bar stool. Just, just give me a Coke. I may need that beer after all. One, two, one. If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, I'd buy you a house, I would buy you a house. And if I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, I'd buy you furniture for your house, it'd be a nice Chesterfield or an Ottoman. And if I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, I'd buy you a K car, a nice reliant automobile. If I had a million dollars, I'd buy your love. If I had a million dollars, I'd build a tree fort in our yard. If I had a million dollars, you could help, it wouldn't be that hard. If I had a million dollars, we could put a tiny little refrigerator in there for me. If I It only took a few minutes. Usually just like spills a soup or cereal or something, excuse me. And uh, I have to like clean it up and that's it. After that we can go home. Isn't this something that your father should be doing himself? Yeah, should be, but he won't. He hasn't come to visit him in over a year. Well, how come? I don't know. Might have something to do with the fact that my grandfather lost his job searching for aliens and ruined my dad's life. But there are aliens. Your grandfather was right and your father knows that. Liz, if you're going to start to point out the ironies in my family, I warn you, they never stop. So your grandfather was right. The actress was killed by an alien. Yep. That's it? Tell him what we found out. No. no. Your grandfather was right. You have to tell your father. I don't think so. Kyle, your family's a damn nightmare. Somebody has to break the cycle of silence. Yeah, someone should. Yeah, someone should. Me? Why me? Why should I break the silence? Who cares break it? Just do it. Let me think about no, it. No, no thinking. Just do it. Mr. Valenti? Mr. Valenti, could you come in here, please? You have no right to intrude on my dysfunctional... Hey, Dad. Hi, Mr. Valenti. Um, Kyle here has something he'd like to talk to you about. Oh, yeah? What's that? I have to go. Have a really nice talk. Kyle? It's nothing, nothing. Okay. Dad? I'd really hate for what's going on between you and Grandpa to happen to us. I'm gone. What? Hold on. Isn't this guy like an alien killer? Look, I get one honeymoon, all right? He's not going to ruin it. <sighs> Isabel, I'm all for uh, denial as a way of life, but you can't just run away from this one. Yes, I can. You want to wash her dry? I can't believe she didn't tell you. <clears throat> tell me what? Well, all right, Mrs. Ramirez. We got to go or we're going to miss our plane. I know. So. Have a good time in La Jolla. See you in a week. Have fun. See ya. Bye. Bye. We'll miss you. Mom, it's a week. I'll call. Yeah, have a great time. I'm sure she will. <sighs> Everything is different now. Yeah, it is. What's going on? Is she officially gone yet? Yeah. I'm leaving. This way. Kyle's going to tell us something. Spit it out. I can't believe she didn't tell you. Tell us what? About Kavar? What, did I say his name wrong? What about Kavar? He's here. He's here? She saw him. She danced with him. She what? At the reception. He looks normal. Looks like a human. How does Isabel's former alien lover crash her wedding? We don't know about it. I don't know, but he's here. Hello? Hello, Kyle. You know what this is? A carburetor? No, it's a carburetor. <laughs> How'd you know that? I'm a modern woman. Right. Anyway, 
It may look like a carburetor, but in reality, it's a gold mine. Hmm. It's a little small for a gold mine, don't you think? Yes, but what if this were a special carburetor? One that made it possible for a car to get 300 miles to the gallon. Kyle. 200? You know, Jesse doesn't like it when I use my powers in your get-rich-quick scheme. Scheme? Scheme? What scheme? This isn't a scheme. This is a gift to mankind. Oh. Oh, well, then if it's a gift, I suppose you won't be charging money for it. Well, it's not a free gift. Why do you always come to me with these things? I'm sorry, but I couldn't figure it out, and Toby's been on my ass all week. All it has to do is work. It doesn't even have to work well. Just so it works. All right. Thank you. Hmm. Hey, ho! Morning. Everyone doing fine? Lots of fun and laughs around the old Ramirez house? Hmm? Good. Now, where is that good-for-nothing boyfriend of mine? Got me. I was just looking. <gasps> Not so fast, Valenti. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. He's on Neptune. <gasps> Neptune? He was just there last week. He's buying you a present for your birthday. A present for me? <gasps> what is it? What can someone buy on Neptune? How much is he going to spend? Tell me everything. So, he wants to take me out for my birthday next week, and I don't know. And... Well, what's the harm? Well, the harm is that a birthday dinner, by definition, is sentimental. And sentimental leads to a good night kiss. Good night kiss leads to sex. I should write that down. Anyway, the reason I'm here is my birthday is next week, and I was kind of thinking that I need some change. You want me to lengthen your hair again? Maybe, you know, or maybe not. Maybe I just want some color, some, like, highlights this time. <sighs> Maria, I am not your personal hair genie. No, I don't want to tell Max. Not yet. But he's the one who healed us. He needs to know. I'm scared to tell him. Why? You go to him for everything. No, he risked so much when he healed me. It's what made me fall in love with him. Yeah, me too. Kyle! Look, what's going on here is really scary. If I don't lighten the mood, I might lose it. I know. If it's too difficult for you, I'll go talk to him. No, um... Sorry, no, um... Could you just please respect my feelings? Let the record show, I think this is a bad idea. Noted. I have to go. If you need anything, call me. Thank you. Please. Stay away! You're doing this. No, I'm not. Please, please. Please. Mac, 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 stop, stop! Listen to me. You want to kill her? Upstairs. She makes me do it myself. I really said all those things to Max, didn't I? Yeah. I couldn't help it. It's everything just exploded. How am I gonna face him? Well, he understands that something went wrong out there. You were not in control of what you were saying. But I was. And that's how I feel deep down, and now he knows, Kyle. And so what? I can't take it back. Liz, look. You can't worry about Max right now. You have to take care of you. You understand? Yeah. Okay. I'll try to get some sleep. You know, I was, uh, I was thinking... You're supposed to say there's a first time for everything. <laughs> anyway, I was thinking that um, since Liz got some alien powers when Max saved her life, that, you know, maybe I've got some alien juice too. Maybe I've got the power to heal. So let's just give it a, a try. It's worth a shot. You know me. 
I'll try anything once. What? What? Whatever. No? What? Still no apologies for Michael. Uh, and you know that uh, that king thing tattoo on Michael's chest? That's gone. Max is king now. I know, I know. But what I was going to say is maybe Michael could get, like, I'm eternally sorry tattooed there instead and just flash it every half an hour regardless. Saves time, cuts stress. Do we know the faux pas? Yeah, he uh, threatened my life and then shoved me out of a moving vehicle and just left me in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the night. Oh, it's fault, and I never threatened to kill you. After you suggested it'd be better off if I was dead and Jesse and everybody else who knows about your little secret. It was a suggestion. Why am I always apologizing to you guys about who I am? That wasn't you, Michael. Yes, it is me. Max was dead, I was king. I did what I had to do. Fine. I'm not sorry about it either. Fine. No, I'm not sorry. <sighs> If the Air Force wants an alien, then why don't we just give them one? Turn her in. Yeah, then they won't be looking for an alien and they'll leave us alone. I'm sensing a plan B. Huh. I'm gonna throw her in a white room and study her like a lab rat for the rest of her life. I've been there. I wouldn't wish that I'm the worst enemy. Max, this isn't a decision that you get to make. It affects all three of us. Oh, no, no, no. This is not an alien decision only. She killed Alex. She killed my best friend. I think that we should all get to vote. Put it to a vote. Yes, we turn her in. No, we try to help her. I say yes, turn her in. We shouldn't be doing this. I vote no. I trust in you. And Alex. I vote yes. I vote no. Michael. Do it, turn her in. Jesse, what do you say? I never met her or Alex. I shouldn't get a vote. Fair enough, Kyle. I don't know. No, I can't do it. All right, Liz. Cast your vote. Break the tie. I vote no. What? Are you crazy? I made my vote. So what are we going to do? Wait, pray they don't find us. You're hearing male voices in Bay Hill side. 4662 and RT4. 15, go to high, put it 5609. missed quite a ceremony. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna forget class of 2002. It's a nice outfit. Deputy. Yeah. Yeah, well, let me start over. You gotta start somewhere, right? Right. Right. Yeah. I won't ask you where you're going, so I can honestly say I don't know. But I can tell you there are a lot of people looking for you. Right now, they think you're headed south to Mexico. Where do they think that? I guess they got an anonymous tip. I can get you to Arizona, and then you're on your own. I mean, you're really on your own. Thanks, Dad. It's the least I could do. I mean, thanks for... Thanks. I love you. Dad. I love you. Too.